we're here at Cheryl's Salon, ready to get a uh, treatment done. We'll be able to see what it is in a minute. Let's uh, knock the door and go on in. Hi, this is Cheryl's Salon. Hey, welcome to Cheryl's. Come in. <laughs> here we go. Here we are at uh, Cheryl's getting a nice waterproof cape on. You having a nice day? I'm going to holidays this year? No, I went on one recently before the COVID-19 struck, but then uh, after it's been a bit of a quarantine mm -hmm. night, right? COVID <laughs> central. They're down the luxurious locks. Yes, tell my friend put it in here. That's all right. I it it's freshly it brushed this morning, but sweaty again since. <laughs> of building. Nerves are kicking in. What's going to happen? No one knows. Well we know but you don't know. What we're really doing is shaving it all off. Yes. I'm going for the golem look. Oh brothers. I heard the sort of yeah, it's fine. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. I want a zigzag. Ah. Right, I'm gonna start putting on the ends first. Smells so, like cat piss. <laughs> <laughs> what cat weird should say? Should we just skin test? So there's a balloon to claim when your face swells up. That's fine. We're looking at worse than what it already does. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's a very strong smell, the ammonia. Yeah. Reminds me of smelling salts. Yeah, it can be quite strong. Won't go outside and just bust an over a press. Well, probably not, because I'm very tired. Just finished training. This is a great makeover. I'm sure I'm going to look absolutely fabulous, darling. Wait, I'm going to look at that for a I can't wait to see the finished product. It's kind of like sitting there in anticipation, not knowing what it's going to turn out like. <laughs> it's, it's not nervous, but it's like, oh, I wonder what it looks like. Quaver cleaning in process. Quaver cleaning in process. Well, yeah. <laughs> the video is not, it's not good. Video. So why are you putting the Vaseline around my head? To form a barrier on your skin. So that if the colour touches your head, it won't stain after. Lube, as such. Oh, lubrication for the face, I see. So you actually coloured someone's hair properly? Um, Mum's, which was probably hmm, a year ago, a good little while ago. Didn't you used to do this professionally? I did, yeah. So I trained to be a hairdresser when I left school and then gave it up because I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a people person. And now I really regret it actually. I really wish I continued to do it. Get it too much in your beard, do you know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm just going to take it to the top of your hair. Yeah. And then I'm trying to get a symmetry right between hair and beard. Can't wait for it to be done so I can see how nice I look. Sex hair. It's on the video, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look like it's been born out of a rhino's vagina. You're gonna put a period on your face, sorry. <laughs> Not the first time. Thirty minutes in a rinse. We shall see what happens. Hello and welcome back to the show. It's Lickus Rickus. Um, on my Instagram, I asked a few of you to ask me some questions that I could answer while my hair was setting. Well, I didn't tell you my hair was setting, but that was the intention. Um, I'm going to answer them now. So I will start with the following question. Right, first question. Who is your favourite rugby player and team besides Bristol Bears? I don't have a favourite team other in England, um, outside of Bristol Bears, because obviously Bristol's where I'm from. Um, my favourite forward would be Sam Underhill. I always think he's a right nose, does plenty of turnovers and a great tackler. Question two. Have you ever passed gas for log pressing? Well, the honest answer is no, I've never passed gas for log pressing, but I've passed gas a lot of times before I've pressed a log because I may probably poo myself at some heavy weight, so I always let rip before and then go and do my set. Question three. What is your advice for people starting out in Strongman? I've been asked this question many times and it's always the same answer. My advice to you is enjoy yourself, enjoy the process, be prepared to be uncomfortable because whereas you're breaking yourself week in, week out, you're going to ache, you're going to have pains, you've got to try and push for them and train smart. Question five and personally my favourite question. Is it true you sucked off a horse while sunbathing? I just like to let you all know that's a vicious rumour. That never happened. I simply tripped on the horse's phallus. Question five. What is your ultimate goal? Not to suck off a horse. <laughs> My ultimate goal is to uh, appear and compete at World's Strongest Man and eventually win some major titles along the way. I feel like I'm heading towards those sort of places. I'm working hard constantly week in, week out and I'm always stretching for new ground, so that's the goal, to be as good as I can be and make people happy watching me compete. The cape has been taken off, the hair is colour is on. We should wash it off and see how beautiful I look today. Massive poop. Drying the skin. Oh, hello. I'm Sister Mary Clark. Oh. <laughs> L'Oreal. Because I'm wet. Hi. This is pre dry blow drying brush. As you can see, I've been at Shaw Salon. Recreated this look. The male version. I hope you like it. It's very red and voluptuous. Lovely uh, colour. Everyone else is going white, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go red. So I'm not sheep. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Take it easy.